Is it safe to strap a high resolution screen just inches away from your eyeballs? I'll break down the potential negative impacts of virtual reality use on your vision, as well as one surprising potential benefit. But let's start with how VR actually works. These headsets make it look like you're sticking a screen right up to your face. And technically you are, but to your eyes, it doesn't look like that. Between your eyes and the display, there's a set of specially designed lenses. Modern VR optics like the pancake lenses used in the MetaQuest 3 and Apple Vision Pro fold the path that the light goes through and magnifies the image from the display. This makes your eyes feel like you're looking at something far away while the screen is actually closer to your eyes in reality. For example, the optics in an Apple Vision Pro simulate a distance of six feet between your eyes and the display. This relaxes your eyes focusing system. More on that later. But despite all of the clever optics, one of the most common negative impacts of VR use is digital eye strain. If you've spent hours staring at your phone or a computer, you've probably felt the symptoms of this before, like headaches, dry eyes, and even blurry vision. The same thing can happen when using VR headsets. When we look at screens, we blink way less, sometimes less than half as often as we would normally. That results in less moisture and more friction in your eyes. So they might feel red, irritated, or just tired. Here's the part that gets a little scarier though. If you're consistently not blinking enough for a long time because of a lot of VR use, you can damage the meibomian glands in your eyelids. These glands produce the oily layer of your tears, and without enough oil, your eyes dry out a lot faster. So over time with this reduced blinking, these glands can shrink or stop working. And once they're damaged, they're really hard to fix, if not impossible to fix. That means that you could be setting yourself up for chronic dry eye syndrome later in life. We'll get to methods to prevent this damage soon, but first I'll talk about one more potential negative consequence of VR use. This one is something you've probably never heard of before. It's called Virgence Accommodation Conflict, or VAC. Virgence is how your eyes change angle to focus on the same thing, like converging to look at something closer to you and diverging to look at something further away. Accommodation is when the lenses in your eyes change their shape to shift your focus to things at different distances away from you. The lenses trick your eyes, the lenses in VR that is, into thinking that an object is far away, so your accommodation system relaxes. But your eyes can still tell that there's something close to you, so they converge as if they're looking at something closer to your eyes. That mismatch can cause fatigue and discomfort, and you could even mistrain your visual system in a bad way. But the good thing is that your eyes are elastic and resilient. As long as you take breaks, they usually bounce back to how they should be. So let's talk about a specific method to make sure that you're taking enough breaks so that your eyes don't have these issues. It's a simple technique called the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. This helps reset both your focusing system and eye coordination. Also, consciously blinking while using VR can definitely help, and you could use artificial tear eye drops if your eyes do start to feel dry. There are two other potential negative consequences of VR use that we haven't touched on yet though. The harsh blue light coming from these headsets and being projected so close to your eyes could also lead to more eye strain and negatively affect your sleep cycle, and that's because it interferes with your melatonin production. Research on this is mixed, but it's still best to not use VR headsets soon before you're planning on going to sleep. All across the world, the rates of nearsightedness, or myopia, have been steadily increasing, and lots of scientists blame increased screen time, so staring at phones and other screens up close to you. Nearsightedness is what causes things further away from you to be blurry. VR actually goes against this trend of screen time though, making it better for your eyes compared to something like a cell phone or a computer. That's because the way VR headsets interact with your eyes relaxes your accommodation as if what you're looking at is further away from you, like we talked about earlier. So that lets your eyes relax in a way that they just can't if you're looking at a cell phone screen or something else that's closer to you. Companies like Meta and Apple are constantly improving VR optics. From very focal lenses to light field displays, 
They're always trying to eliminate problems like Virgin's accommodation conflict and reduce eye strain. Future headsets could be extra eye-friendly, especially compared to your phone or a tablet. So is VR bad for your eyes? It definitely can be, especially if you use it for long stretches of time without any breaks. But if you follow smart habits like taking regular breaks following the 20-20-20 rule, consciously blinking as you're using VR, and not using it right before you go to bed, you should be fine. In fact, your eyes might thank you for taking a break from your phone. 